Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the homestead. As you can see, I'm sitting next to my uh, Yodel F100 and I wanted to go over a few things. I wanted to go over the cost of installing a wood stove. So we're going to cover that in today's video. Um, for those of you who are consistently following the channel here, my name is Jay, or those of you who are new here, excuse me, my name is Jay. We live on an 18 acre homestead. We heat primarily with an outdoor boiler, but we have good old faithful here out in our woodshed here. This is a 14 by 10 woodshed here and we installed this just because I wanted some heat in here. Why not, right? So in this video, we're going to go over um, the cost of installing a wood stove. Now I will tell you what it, my final cost for this install, but I'm going to go over if you had to buy all of this brand new. So this is brand new prices. You can apply this. We're going to talk about a few different things. So bear with me. I'm going to make this video under 10 minutes long. So without further ado, folks, Let's get right into it. First thing you want to talk, you want to uh, look into is permits and insurance. That's number one that you want to deal with and you want to calculate. Depending on your country, where you live, uh, your state, um, you may not even be allowed to have a wood stove for heat. So first thing you need to do is calculate insurance um, slash permits to see if you're even allowed to. So if you're allowed to, conti let's continue on. That's your first step. You need to figure out your home insurance and if it's if you're allowed to in your certain area. So let's go ahead and get ready. We're going to work our way from the ground up. So the first thing you need, and I have a list here on uh, my phone here. So excuse me if I if I'm looking down here. The first thing that you need to consider is a hearth. Uh, now a hearth is what actually sits underneath the wood stove. My Yodel F100 here. I have seven and a half inch legs on two inch bricks on one inch of cement board and I'll overlay some video of that. Um, so we have plenty of protection here for plywood. If you're mounting your wood stove on a concrete floor, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you don't need a hearth. But hearth pads range anywhere from, a good hearth pad, according to Google, is anywhere from $150 to $800. Um, and I'll overlay a photo here. Now you can do what I did and I'll talk about that later real quick. But I just used some cement board and some stone. That's all you really need. Again, if this is permitted and this is, you need to have everything approved, you need to see if you can get away with that or if you have to buy an actual legit hearth pad. So that's the first thing, is your floor protection. For me, cement board, two inch pavers, good enough for now. I'm redesigning the shed, I'm expanding it in the spring anyway, so we're gonna move a few things around. So for now, this will do. So that's the first thing, is hearth pad, ground protection. Next thing you need to deal with is wall protection. If you can see behind me here, I have some, and I'll overlay a clip of how I did it. I have just some metal corrugated roofing panels on two and a half inch spacers. And actually behind that, I have the leftover pieces of cement board. So this is what's called a heat shield, a protected surface. This, again, it, it, it varies on your stove, but I've done, I had to do a ton of research to put this all together to make sure this was compliant and make sure this was acceptable. So. Um, depending on your stove and your setbacks, you may want to have some type of back wall protection, whether that be brick or some type of corrugated metal roofing. I did this corrugated metal roofing because it looks cool and it's cheap. So that's another way to do it. So you need floor protection and wall protection before you even get into the actual stove. When it comes to stove, you can spend literally anywhere from $1,500 to probably $4,000 on a good wood stove. This Yodel F100, again, a quick Google search, Yodel F100 freestanding wood heater is $3,000. This one, obviously, I got for free from my father-in-law. He had it in storage for years. Um, that's So that was a bonus. That's why I did this project was because I had a wood stove for free. So a, sto a good stove, if you're writing numbers down, you can be anywhere from $1,500 to probably almost $4,000 just for the physical stove itself. Now. This is all brand new. You can get stuff used, you can get stuff secondhand, you can restore stuff, so there's always options out there, but this is all basically new prices for what you're going to spend to install a wood stove. Next thing, working our way ground up. We covered the floor, we covered the stove. Your chimney pipe. This behind me on mine, I decided to go with double wall Selkirk pipe. Now, I got this secondhand on Facebook Marketplace for $200 for four sections, 36 inch sections. I actually have one left over right here that we didn't end up using because the chimney was sticking out almost into space. So again, a quick Google search and I'll overlay a picture. Selkirk six inch by 36 inch stainless steel double wall pipe is $125 a section. So if I was to buy this new 125 times four is 250 is $500 for double wall pipe. Now we're gonna work our way up 
and you don't always have to go double wall pipe inside that's just for the money that's what i did because it's it was the cheapest option for the most part i got the most linear feet for the cheapest amount but if you were to go double wall brand new off the stove you're gonna you're talking almost um what's it called you're talking 125 dollars for every 36 inches so do the math there depending on your ceiling and whatnot but however Depending on your setbacks, you can go single wall stove pipe, the black pipe, and I'll overlay a photo of that. That stuff is generally cheaper, but the problem with that is your stove, generally speaking, the center of the chim the wall of the chimney has to be 18 inches from the wall. So if you can meet those clearances, you can go with a double wall uh, pipe all the way up in your home. So that's the next thing is chimney. That's going to be anywhere from $125 to some premium double wall pipe to whatever the single wall pipe is. I think I, I saw it as low as $30 for a section. So it's a huge price Next difference. Thing, you see that black box there? That is called a chimney support box. Where is it? Right? Uh, camera, camera, camera. Right here. Yep, that black box that that chimney goes into. What that is, is that will screw to your rafters, your floor joists, depending on how you do it. Um, and that's going to support some weight of the chimney. If I wanted to go single wall black pipe off of the stove here, basically that would run right up to that box there. And inside that box is where your double wall pipe starts. If I wanted more heat in here, that's what I could do. That's why I did that ceiling support box there is that will support um, the chimney there. Now that piece is $135. Now keep in mind, um, there's two ways to do uh, a chimney. You can go out the back to a T-fitting and then go up on the exterior of your house or depending on how your house is built, you can kind of do what I do here in the shed here. You can go straight up and punch right through the ceiling there. It depends on your home. If you most likely it's going to be cheaper to punch out your wall and go all the way up to the peak of your roof. 99% of the chimneys that you need on your uh, wood stove on your home are going to have to come over the peak, the highest peak of your house. So you need to figure that out. Again, $125 for double wall exterior pipe, and that's going to run you um, 36 inches. This is where the money adds up. If you are going to go punch out the wall, you're going to need a wall, what's called a wall thimble. And I'll overlay a photo here and then I'll overlay um, what a price would be for one. You're going to need a wall thimble that punches through your probably two by six wall. And then you're going to need a t what's called a T fitting with a cap usually on the bottom for cleanup. And that's going to run you anywhere from probably $200 to 300 and change for your T fitting new again this is all new material and then obviously you're going to need the support bracket that goes with it let me find that and i'll tell you how much that is so right here and i'll overlay a photo selkirk wall support kit exterior wall support kit for t fitting is 160 dollars so you're already talking two to three hundred for a t fitting and then another 160 for the support bracket and you haven't even gone up yet the chimney prices are honestly i could not believe the price the cost of chimneys uh stove the double wall pipes that's probably adds up to be probably more than the dang stove if you ask me so working our way up we did the support box we talked about the thimble going through the wall and now let's talk about your roof you're going to need all types if you're punching through your roof you're going to need what's called flashing boots and flashing gaskets things of that nature i'll overlay some photos here um what I did on my, I had a metal roof here. I have a metal roof here on the shed. I ended up doing a high silicone heat, not that EP something acronym. You need the high temp silicone heat uh, rated up to, I think, 550 or 600 degrees. And it screws through the metal roofing and you put some caulking around. I'll, I'll overlay a photo. That's kind of the cheap way to do it if you have a metal roof. But if you're punching through a shingle roof, it's a whole different story. You need flashings with the correct pitch of your roof. Uh, in order to not have any leaks onto your um, onto the uh, plywood that's underneath your shingles if you have a shingle roof. But however, if you're blowing out the wall and going up the side of your house, all you need is support brackets going all the way up. So I'll, again, I hopefully I'm overlaying some photos and hopefully this makes sense. Um, but needless to say, I did a lot of research when installing this wood stove here in my shed and I was blown away by the costs of everything. So... Pretty much that covers it. Let's do some rough totals here. 
So I'll overlay right here, generally speaking, um, the cost of things to get you started. Um, keep in mind, it's about $125 for 36 inches if, for a chimney. So if you have to go up, that's three feet. Uh, three times 12 is 36. So 125 divided by three. Oh, I love math on camera. Uh, 40, 80, 120. It's about $40 a foot depending on how high of a chimney you need. So keep that in mind, about $40 a foot um, for double wall exterior chimney and then obviously all your support brackets and stuff. So as far as calculating what you need on your house, um, you can use that as a good base, about $40 a foot for your chimney. So if you have a 20 foot chimney, that's gonna be about $800 in double wall pipe. So needless to say, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I covered some costs here of um, installing a wood stove here so yeah thanks for watching guys let me know what you think if you have any questions um always feel, always check the marketplace too i scored almost all of this stuff second hand off of demolition jobs or people were just done with wood heating so you can get some really good and i'll overlay um a couple photos here some ads i almost bought um on different parts of new hampshire that people were selling pretty much half price msrp um, just second hand gently used stove. So the prices are out there. So hopefully you learned something. Let me know what you think. God bless. Thanks for watching guys. Stay safe. If you're going to do this, make sure you do all the proper channels, read your owner's manual, all the proper setbacks. I didn't go over any of that in this video because it varies per stove. Um, so yeah, do your research, do your homework and stay safe. God bless. And thanks for watching guys.